Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss an important topic that many of you have been asking me about. Using oral minoxidil for hair loss, is it safe in those who have normal or high blood pressure? Hi, I'm Dr. Yasudian and I'm one of the consultant dermatologists based in the UK and I've done previous videos on the use of oral minoxidil for hair loss. Minoxidil has a fascinating history in medicine. It started its life as a treatment for high blood pressure. And it was during these early days that physicians noted an interesting phenomenon. These patients were growing more hair. Therefore, this unexpected side effect led to the development of topical minoxidil, which is called either Regain or Rogain, depending on where in the world you live. More recently, low-dose oral minoxidil has emerged as one of the most effective treatments for hair loss. Typically, it's prescribed between the dose of 1 to 5 milligrams a day, much lower than what is used for high blood pressure. There have been a couple of excellent studies from Brazil and Spain on the use of low-dose oral minoxidil in those who have hair thinning and who have concurrent high blood pressure as well. The global prevalence of hypertension in adults is 34%. So it seems important to expand knowledge about the management and safety issues of oral minoxidil treatment in these patients. The first study looked at 254 patients who were on antihypertensives. The second study was smaller, just 58 patients, but was more thorough assessment of blood pressure before 36 hours after and 30 days after starting low-dose oral minoxidil. Both studies were reassuring as there was no significant reduction in blood pressure even if they had been on blood pressure tablets. Less than 2% of those taking the medication had to discontinue the treatment because of side effects. Lightheadedness, otherwise referred to as dizziness or postural hypertension, was the most frequent side effect and was generally quite mild, but was reported more frequently in summer and in the mornings. Tachycardia or fast heartbeat was seen in less than 1% of those who took the medication and usually responded to a reduction in the dosage. None of the other serious side effects like fainting, pericarditis, or pericardial effusion was reported in the two studies that I've mentioned. These side effects are very rare and occurs usually in those who have other health issues like renal failure, congestive cardiac disease, or lupus. Let's look at the recommendations made by experts in using oral low-dose minoxidil in hair loss for those who already have blood pressure. First, we can start treatment without referral to a cardiologist. Secondly, check the full medical history before starting the medication. Thirdly, take oral minoxidil at bedtime as it minimizes the potential side effects. And finally, start at a lower dose and gradually titrate the dose upwards. There are some special cautions though. If a person is on more than three blood pressure tablets or they are on a tablet called doxazosin, they may need closer observation. Similarly, if a person is known to get repeated fainting or has uncontrollable blood pressure, they should also be monitored more carefully. Finally, if there's a history of recent heart attack or heart failure, severe valvular heart disease, pericardial effusion, or advanced renal disease, liaise with a cardiologist before commencing treatment. That's it for now. Please let me know which part of the video was most helpful for you by dropping a comment below. And if you learned something new, share this video with someone who might find it helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.